Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. Have you ever wondered what it is that makes you attractive to other people? Do you work very hard on how your skin looks or the type of haircut you get, or how genuine and contagious your smile is? Do you tend to overlook personality improvements because of the non-tangible results that it might give? Today, we want to remind you that your behavioral improvements have as much or even more impact than physical improvements. So to help you feel more confident, here are six signs that you have an attractive personality. Number one, you have great conversational skills. Are you approachable, well-spoken, open-minded, authentic, and honest? These are all signs that you are a great communicator and it's a good personality trait to have, even if you're more of an introvert than an extrovert. Having great conversational skills is still something that you are capable of having. As an introvert, you can still listen attentively and ask engaging questions and maybe act more so quietly approachable in your own way. Authenticity and honesty are also important in being a good conversationalist. This helps people to trust you and want to engage with you for how steadfast and true you are and how well you listen to them. Number two, you have a positive attitude. Would you describe yourself as a positive person? If you are someone who has a generally positive attitude, then your personality is much more attractive than someone who would rather just complain and pout all the time. It's generally well known that optimistic people are more physically and mentally healthy and have more professional success than those with negative outlooks. People will generally feel more attracted to you if you show them more positive emotions, such as love, kindness, and happiness. Number three, you're confident. Have you ever felt attracted to someone's sense of confidence and self-assuredness, even more than their looks? Confidence is considered to be one of the most attractive personality traits. Your confidence can be used as an asset that shows how passionate and invested you are in the things that are important to you. Confidence is attractive because it shows that you believe in yourself and that you have a high level of self-esteem. Number four, you're a great listener. When you have great listening skills, this will make your personality more appealing and attractive. When you're actively listening to what others have to say, this shows them that you care about them and what they say is important to you. For example, if someone tells you a really important story and you give them a general and non-committal response, then you're giving them the impression that you don't really want to listen to them and only want to talk about yourself. Number five, you have a good sense of humor. Are you witty and humorous? Do you enjoy making others laugh? If you can make others laugh freely, take that as a compliment. Making people laugh can be hard because everyone has different senses of humor. But if you have the talent and skill to make people laugh, that is extremely valuable and makes your personality that much more attractive. When you have a quick wit, you're using both your cognitive and emotional processes to come up with your jokes. So you're also generally more intelligent. And number six, you are open to trying new experiences. Are you willing to try out new experiences? Do you take more risks? According to Adrian Furnham from Psychology Today, having an inclination to explore opportunities is one of the traits that people look for in a partner. Your willingness to try new things shows others that your personality is flexible and open, making it a lot more attractive than someone who happens to be more closed off. So if you're willing to engage in new experiences, then you have two of the most attractive personality traits flexibility, and openness. The most attractive personality you can have is the one in which you are most truly yourself. Did you relate to any of these points? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.